It's also present down here too. So there's that wire and there's that there. So what we do is we take the wire and we roll like a, like a Tootsie Roll of cement. The cement is a very low quality cement because we diluted it very heavily with antibiotic powder. So it weakens the cement, but it also holds the antibiotic in there, which leaches out slowly over time. Most of the antibiotics are probably gone by this point. It's been right at six weeks. So let's say it takes about six to eight weeks to leach out. Plus you're getting it through the pick line. You still have the pick line? Yeah, the Groshan, okay. Um, so uh, and then, well, let's go to the rest of it. So there's, there's the, the wire. And so what happens when we go to take that out, that wire, we just pull the wire and all the cement comes with it. Then down here, you have an old, older model, cheap kind of knee replacement piece that is just there to help maintain your joint space so the joints aren't sitting side by side. That's what I've got in this with the left one. Yeah, but, but like a like generic low basement ball because we're going to throw this one away when we put the knee back in. Um, it, it'll still cobalt chrome would last a long, long time, but it's not the newest, fanciest thing. Then here, there's a plastic piece just like that goes between the two pieces there. See that you got metal, plastic metal. You just have an all poly, all Perfect. plastic piece. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, so you got this. This you don't have. You have a modified piece like this. This you you have, and you don't have that. That goes under the patella. So, and then all that's antibiotic cement there as well with the wire in it. So, that's that. You can now. We didn't want to at first, but now I'm letting you put as much weight as is comfortable, and bend it as much as you want. Really? Yeah. Things are settled now. I probably would. You know, I was going to let you do it at the visit, but then you had that readmission. So that's fine. I mean, nothing lost, nothing gained there. So start working on range of motion, start putting weight on it, and then um, find out when Charles or Dr. Kennedy is going to stop your IV antibiotics. When he says, I'm stopping the IV antibiotics, count one, two, three weeks, call here, make an appointment with me, and then I'm going to take one of those small needles like I did in the hospital that time and take some fluid out of your knee. You're supposed to laugh when I say small needle. All right, that's, that's, I'll count that. Well, I'm not laughing at that. Because <laughs> it ain't that small. You're not taking it out as soon as he calls. I want that. So when, as soon as the antibiotics are done, then the, you know, if there's just a couple bacteria, the odds of me finding them with that needle is small. So then, like I said, two become four, become eight, become 16. So, you know, this is just from trial and error because we have drawn it a little early and then something grew and then we ended up having... We took a, or put a real knee back in and had to take that thing back out. This was put in with, like I said, terrible cement, so it comes out easier. So the, the, the thing is that from years and years of doing this, we have found that this has got the best chance of getting it cleared and, and letting without higher risk of going back in. Because again, you're, you're higher risk, period. We just don't want to rush this. So we got to give three weeks to kind of let things start to regrow again and then go in and get a good specimen. 